Volenche, 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 baitola. Volenche, volenche. The rhythms in the drum is the language of the Yoruba. So when we play, we're actually praying to the Orisha. Every chant you sing, you're calling them, you're invoking them to come and convey a message to the world. This is what calls the Orisha, the music, the song, and the dance. I'm a Chango priest. Chango is the king of the Yoruba religion. He represents fire, thunder, all the beautiful things that men want to be. Chango is the owner of the drum. He's an angel that walks with me. Music is an integral part of many religious activities, but in the Orishas, it's, it's, it's everything. So that the drums are actually talking and the spirit world is part of the real world. There are six drum heads being played at once, so it takes a while to, for your ear to parse what's happening. Okonkoro is the small drum, but it's the timekeeper. The Totole is the father, is the second one, and the Iya, which means mother, the three create the rhythm. You can't play one. Through the drumming and through the song, there is possession. And so basically, we, we are the vehicles through which all of this positive energy flows. It's a language, and it's very sacred. I'm an American. I'm a Puerto Rican from New York. So the Cubans, they say, well, how can you play this? I tell them, don't ask me, ask God. Cuban music was never really talked about in the way jazz or classical is. When I heard it and heard the complexity of the rhythms and the way the harmonies interacted, it was a visceral reaction to like the power and the beauty of the music. It's really important that here in the Americas that this doesn't die. Yeah.